Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to install VSL2 on your Windows computer. In this tutorial we will be following a guide at docs.microsoft.com. I will put a link to this guide in the description. If you prefer to read it, you can just read it and go through all of these steps here. This is what I will do in this tutorial. But if you rather want to watch a video and prefer that, you can continue watching. So the first thing we want to do is we want to do actually step two here, and that is to check the requirements for VSL2 so that our Windows environment supports VSL2. So what we want to do is that we want to check that our system is version 1903 or higher and that we have build 18362 or higher. So to do this, we go to settings, then we go to system, and then in the left panel here, we go to the about page. And here we can see the under Windows specification, we can see the version of our Windows and our OS build. So mine is 2004 and my OS build is 1904-1. So we passed the system requirements for this. So before we start, what you want to do is that you want to open up a PowerShell window as an administrator. And to do that, you can just press the Windows button here, write PowerShell, and then you right click on it and press run as administrator. And then you will open up, you will see this one here. So what you want to do next is that you want to copy this line here under step one. And what this will do is that it will enable a Windows feature called Microsoft Windows Subsystem Linux on your computer. So we just press enter and see that it completes successfully. Then we can skip step two because we have already done that. We have checked the requirements. Then on step three, we need to enable another feature called Virtual Machine Platform. So we just copy that and paste it in like before, and it also completed successfully. Then in the next step, we need to uh, download this software here and install it on our computer. So we do that and just click it and run it. And hopefully it's pretty fast for you too. So there'll be no problems. Then we can go to step five, and that is that we need to, we need to set the default version of VSL to two. So that when, we, that when we run VSL, it starts with the, the version two and not version one. So we can just copy this and paste it in. And then we're done. Now we can install a Linux system on our computer. So I will install Ubuntu 18.04. So if the story has opened up, opens up here, I can search for Ubuntu. And here I have Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, so I will run that one. And then I will just press install. And I don't have a user account, so I will just dismiss this. So when the download is finished, you can just press the launch button up here. And the Ubuntu will be installed on your computer. Then you need to, when the installation is finished, you need to enter a new Unix name. So I will just call mine ML Vmark and set a password for it. And done. Now we have VSL2 running on our computer and we are running Ubuntu 18.04 on our VSL2. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and, it, and that it worked out for you. If you have any question, please comment in the comment section below. And have a nice day.